Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 2.5. In this episode, I was planning on creating a building for a big machine room. But then I realized that the storage room is rather large. And in the next couple episodes, these chests... Ah, these chests will probably stay here, but it's not going to expand anymore because we will probably put in an AE system. But the deal is, I built this big platform and expanded our land, which I should probably, even though this is single player, it's not on a server... Let's get these chunks claimed just so it doesn't keep popping up wilderness or. Uh, does it still pop up? Nah. Doesn't pop up between Mr. Twisted and wilderness. But let's look at our achievement book because we have not checked stuff off in a while believe all this stuff is done still haven't upgraded the tinkers tool <clears throat> iron seed diamond seed haven't done that yet watering can we can make real quick yep i was looking at some of the stuff watering can watering can watering can that looks easy enough Let's make that real quick. Ah, not filtering right. So, just three bowls or three planks for the bowl. Get one of those and a bone meal which we have a ton in here <clears throat> and I did find out it seems that if I take all the axes out and put bone meal in here it'll feed it'll continuously feed this bone meal but then it'll stop dropping axes so just have the axes in there now I was just manually putting bone meal in here. Now and then, it's still running plenty fast to supply us with all the stuff, all the energy we need. Watering can, yay. <clears throat> we already have a sprinkler, so there's not much we are going to do with this. Okay, we're not screwing around with crops today. You're still running nice. Plenty of sticks. We should probably throw another stack of cobble in there real quick, just so it stays supplied with axes. So let's do that real quick. Just before I forget, because if I forget, that turns into one solid block of trees. <laughs> All right, so watering can, you can go in there. Open the book back up. Watering can, done. All this stuff is going to wait. <clears throat> Have the Minisio farm going. There's also some uh, earth seeds in there and some nature seeds. Uh, this stuff, fly. Yeah, we're not looking at that either. Hatch a dragon egg. Eh, that'll be in the future. Uh, energy conduits. We have... Powered... The, six, or the three machines over there. The three up here. 
I will call that enough. Automated crop harvesting. We already have that with the municipal seeds. Ender pouch to an ender chest is going to be an issue due to blaze dust. We don't have any. So, where we have two. So what I've been doing is, you get that from sifting dust. You also get Certus Quartz, dust, and such, which I will need for the applied energetics. So what I've been doing is just pulverizing dust, running it down here, disconnected the machines, and just putting it in there. And see, we already got one. Don't know what you're doing there. But Skystone dust we can use. The Certus Quartz dust is good. Redstone's always good. So what I'll probably end up doing, what I should have done a bit ago, is line up these auto hammers to go from gravel to sand to dust. <clears throat> but I'll do that in the future. For now, I figured I'd do is just pulverize. And I really don't feel like babysitting this. So what we will do is... We'll put a ho hopper on top. Break this. And let's make a chest. Do I have... Yep. There's some more of those. Make a chest real quick. Drop it down next to it. So it pumps everything out that it's making. Fill up the hopper. Then what we have to do, which I'm sure you guys know, it's the hopper's connected to the top, but it's not pulling anything because it's not configured for it. So if you change that to blue, now it pulls from the hopper and everything can go nice and easy peasy and then we'll get a bunch of dust which I can just run down to the other uh, let's get these bowls out of here see what else we have done uh, chunk loader not doing that yet this is coming soon ender quarry don't see it being a necessity. Uh oh. Did that lightning hit something? But it's nighttime. Let's just sleep through the night, stop the rain. You know, when we get to the deep dark, hopefully that's not like the nether and it's actually fully loaded with ores and stuff like that. Uh, flying and stuff. We'll get to that. Uh, not messing around with reactors yet. We're good on energy as it is. <clears throat> but what we will do is... Thomcraft. So we're going to knock out some of these today. It'll be the start. I played with Thomcraft before a very long time ago. If you look and see his videos from over a year ago and things have changed tremendously by now, I'm sure. Ah, sweet coffee. So let's get going with that. We need to make an iron wand and a bookcase. All right, so let's get the wand first. We will just make the... Oh, that has to be made in another bench, I guess. But this doesn't. 
Iron caps and a stick. Iron caps. We have ore berries downstairs. Do we have enough iron? These are just not wanting to grow. So we have all the ore, ore berries we have. Which is a great sentence, by the way. So we can make one. We'll just make nuggets for the other. Alright, so we got two of you. Eh, we'll put the nuggets in there for now. And that we need a stick. And with that we make our iron wand. The other item we need is a bookcase. We have no leather, but that was odd. We have no leather to make books, but string and we do have paper. So let's see how much paper we can make. We need string. Ah, reeds, reeds, reeds. Yep, we have some reeds to make paper. Let's make up all the paper that we can. Blank patterns. Let's get some wood. We'll make some more blank patterns. Way too many, but that's fine. And then... Make three books. With three books, we can make our bookshelf. So let's get this. Let's dump off. Ah, let's just throw all this excess miscellaneous stuff away. So now we use the bookshelf. <clears throat> By the way, this is a Thomcraft tree <coughs> that we plant in the back. We still have one sapling for it. But you place it on the bookshelf, take the wand, and right click it with the wand, and voila. We have the book for Thomcraft, our Thomonomicon. This gives you all the information you need. Different trees. The pack. But we also have all this other stuff. Gallimancy. Viz filter. And I just really am not sure. Wow. They have a lot of stuff now. All these open up, I believe. All those ghost images. Ores and nodes. But let us... Okay, so we have the Thaumonomicon. Tell us how to do research. A workbench. Not sure how we're going to get shards. Knowledge fragments. We actually have a couple of those. But let's see. What else we need to make. Research notes. Researcher. 
let us just refer to our achievement book. So we did this. We need to create an arcane, uh, arcane crafting table, research table, and a crucible. So, arcane crafting table. Could be this. But I am not sure. There is a lot of stuff. So let us refer to the book. In a workbench. You guys can read this through. And a workbench can do this. Combining aspects. This goes through all that. But I don't know about getting shards. That would be shards with an S. And that is going to take essence. Now we do have some. Earth shard essence from seeds. So it, I do believe that that kind of puts a kibosh on doing that this episode. I'm going to have to go back through... figure out anything else for shards probably get the uh, workbench going and anything else we may need discover a uh, craft set of armor infusion altars So I do not, oh, we actually have a Lexica Batania. We have a Petal, a Pocketheri. And that is, because I figured the Thomcraft stuff can be back in here and over here. We will do the Batania stuff. I got a ton of living wood. What I did not find was our pure daisy that we had made. Not exactly sure where I threw that. But, see, we got some nature essence. Let's see how much, see if we do have enough to make any shards. And yeah, I haven't brought this down to automatically move it to an easily accessible chest. Earth Essence. But it needed seeds, though, I had thought. Oops. Yeah. Where are you at, Earth? Earth Shard Essence. Yep, needs the seeds. To make the seeds, you need an earth shard. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to look into that. Oh, we got to feed that real quick. But, this has just quickly turned into... 
just a little update on where we're at and doing the books. Getting our achievements going. Letting you know what the plans are. Yep, still only three. So, I am going to call it an episode right here. I also built this out a little bit because I thought about putting a machine room down here, but then you'd be running from our storage area way down here to use machines. That's not really going to work. Nice to just have everything in one little place. So, that's it for this episode. I will see you guys later. Be good. Bye-bye. Okay, I couldn't end the episode like that. So I looked through the book a little bit more. And through the crafting uh, table on shards. And I found enough information for us to get the basic stuff done. So, to create a workbench or the work table we need and the research, we need to make these tables, which are very easy to make. And we are gonna need three of those. We already have you guys. And we already have the planks. So let's see how they go again. Planks across the top, or slabs, planks on the sides. We need three. Oh, we only have enough to make two. So we'll get the two. Make some more slabs. And this will be three. So let's grab these. And then run out here to figure out where we're going to put stuff to start. I'm thinking for now, we'll put the research table here and the crafting bench next to it. Now, right now, there's still just tables, but if you hit them with your wand, voila. So now we have our bench. You'll see it automatically put our wand in there. We're going to need you back out because we need to make... Uh-oh. We made two. Table, table, and we need to make scribing tools. Bad Willem. Okay, so... We have two work tables. And we'll put you there. So let's make another table. And then we need to find... We need a grass vial, a feather, and an ink sack. So... Let's find the glass file. Okay, a piece of clay which we do not have. I don't believe we have. Nope, we do. So that, three pieces of glass. We still have one on us. We also need an ink sack. Don't ask me why these are stored in here. They just are. So, glass vial. So we got you. Feather. I honestly do not know. Oh, there we go. Vial, feather, ink sack. Now, can we do it in here? 
Vile Feather Ink Sack. Yep, we can. So let's grab this stuff. Run out here and make this real quick before we wrap up this episode. Now with you. There we go. And now it opens this up. But you need to research aspects for that. So I'm going to make that real quick on camera so that we need to make this. This is what we needed shards for. And I found out a way to get shards after actually going through just looking through recipes for the shards. If you take sandstone slabs and break them with a hammer, you get air shards. Which, thank goodness, because if I had to do that much farming, that would have been pretty brutal. And for that, again, shards top and bottom, glass in the center, so a piece of glass, Shards there and gold makes the thermometer. So, what you do with this is you run around, oops, you right click. If you see in the lower right, it says to understand this, you need to study plants. So, eventually, you'll find stuff like that. So we discovered water, we got research points. And you kind of run around, the more stuff you discover, you need to find the base aspect before you can scan other stuff. That's why I keep saying, you know, oh, now we got dirt. But yeah, you're just going to basically be running around, scanning whatever you can. Some stuff you might have to hold shift on so it doesn't just open it up. But yeah, so what I am going to do between this episode and the next is try to scan as much stuff as possible. So, there we go. I can feel a little bit better about leaving this episode now. Because I really don't want to leave it on such a huge fail. But that's it. Be good. Bye-bye.